Hello guys. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be explaining one of my character's stories. And that character today is Benny the Bunny. Despite his name, Benny is not actually a bunny. He is a nightmare creature created by dark magic. When a child has strong imagination and fears, they can sometimes manifest into real creatures. In this case, Benny was created by a little girl named Isabella. Isabella here had an intense fear of rabbits after an accident at the petting zoo. (laughs) One day, though, dear old Granny gave her a gift, a black rabbit plush. It sat on her nightstand every night, watching over her with those lifeless button eyes. She hated it. Its limp body, its, its unsettling smile, its rough black fur. She had begged her parents if she could get rid of the rabbit, but because it was a gift, they said no. So instead, she wouldn't touch it. She'd just leave it there, letting it watch over her at night. Sometimes when cars came by the window and lightning flashed in her room, lights would come into it, casting long shadows across the bunny, making it um, you know, appear bigger and larger on the wall. It terrified her. She'd have nightmares of this thing coming off the wall and grabbing her in her sleep and eating her up. She would always fear and imagine these horrible things happening until one day it became so strong that it actually happened. Benny manifested into a six-foot-tall, black, shadowy creature. And that night when it happened, lightning was flashing outside and thunder was roaring in the middle of the night. Isabella had hid under her covers, and when she looked up, she noticed that the rabbit was gone. And she turned around, and in front of her stood this large, shadowy creature. Benny had been born. Now, despite Benny's um, nature of a nightmare creature, which they're meant to torment children and, you know, scare them and stuff, Benny had no intentions of harming Isabella or scaring her. Perhaps it was because of his origin of being a toy, something that's meant to help kids and make them feel safe. So when Benny was created, he hadn't tried to scare her. He tried to have a happy, friendly smile to make her feel safe. But instead, that just scared her even more. She screamed and hid under the covers, and Benny was confused. He didn't know what to do, so he left. Benny was very distraught about this. He didn't really know how to help. So he went on his way, finding other kids, trying to be their friends. But because of his unsettling appearance, it didn't work out too well for him. Now Benny wanders, and instead of interacting with kids, he just watches over them from afar. He hopes to one day return to Isabella and be her friend, but until then, all Benny can do is watch from the shadows.